thought I would just start the vlog here because otherwise you're gonna see me in the morning and I look quite a wreck in the morning to explain what this video is about. This video is me trying the one billion dollar morning routine video that's been going around a lot on youtube and i have written a list here of all of the things that are in the morning routine what needs to be done and i thought i would try it out for myself and let you know my thoughts on it whether i enjoyed it whether i didn't whether it works what i think about it my thoughts and yeah i hope you enjoy the video I don't want to get up. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't know why I went to bed so late yesterday. It's very unlike me. I'm tired, but I've got to get up. So apparently one of the first things we have to do is recall our dreams. Spend one to two minutes recalling my dream. I know I did have a dream, but I actually can't remember it. The past couple of days though, I've been having some really strange dreams. Okay. What is next on the list? Make bed. Okay. It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my Okay, next up it says have a tall glass of water plus vitamins. Okay. <laughs> Having that big glass of water is not dissimilar from my normal routine because I usually chug this glass of water as soon as I wake up. Um, I don't take any vitamins so I will not be doing that. It feels so strange to me though because now I would usually go and brush my teeth straight away but we don't brush our teeth for a long time in this morning routine. So the next thing is breath work. It just says breath work. Okay, I don't know any particular breath work techniques but I'm gonna watch a YouTube video. Okay, well that was different, I've never done breath work and that was odd at first but it's actually quite nice. I feel like there, there's been a positive difference in doing it. I feel like I can feel the, the, the air in my nostrils a lot more now because I was breathing in so much. But that's done. The next thing on the list is 15 to 20 minutes of meditation. So I'm going to get up a guided meditation. As you settle into a comfortable seated position, as you breathe, thank yourself showing up today with each beat of your heart it's been a day we gonna get wavy i did 15 minutes manifestation meditation which actually wasn't that bad i quite like meditating when i stick to my usual morning routine i do try and meditate for 10 minutes every morning so it wasn't too strange for me either although that one seemed quite long now is one to two minutes of intense movement i love doing crunches but that would be like easier because i find them quite nice to do so i think i'm going to go with star jumps oh let's let's go on some diamonds and some pearls oh such a long minute there's another minute to go 20 seconds oh done that actually really wasn't that bad okay next thing is the thing that i'm seriously really really dreading and that is the cold shower <laughs> i really wanted to don't want to take a cold shower <laughs> oh my god well, I, I, <laughs> I actually can't do this i'm turning it all the way down so that it's on the coldest oh my god i actually <laughs> oh, oh, my god. <laughs> oh my god i don't know how people can do that and have a cold shower every single day because that was freezing, absolutely freezing, and I would not do it again. It woke my body up though, but I think overall, it's just a no, it's just a no from me. Now it says we can do our own morning routine, our normal routine, so I can finally brush my teeth. I mean, I don't know how he's gone this long without brushing his teeth because I gotta brush my teeth as soon as I wake up. Usually I wash my face in the shower, but I obviously couldn't because it was freezing cold water. So I'm going to do it now. This is what my face looks like. I feel like I can't move it, but it feels good on my skin. Like really, really good. I love it. So I'm going to wash it off now. My skin literally feels so nice. But now I'm going to continue with my normal morning routine. Them get away with we walk tall, our heads held high cause we 
Okay, we're back in the kitchen. The next step on this morning routine, this morning routine is quite long. The next step now that I've done my normal routine, I've brushed my teeth, I've done my skincare routine, I've got ready and got dressed. Now it's to make tea. So I'm gonna make my favorite tea that I don't actually have that often. Um, and that is the Puka Lemon, Ginger and Manuka Honey. Honestly, if you've not tried this tea, it's amazing, it tastes so good. to drink the tea and journal so i've got my journal here i've also got my journal prompt book and we're going to do what it says now it says while i'm writing to make my to-do list three work and three personal tasks Usually I would write my to-do list on Notion and electronically, but at the moment I'm really liking pen to paper and analog, so I'm gonna write it in my actual journal. My three work tasks are to edit a YouTube video, send an important email that I need to send, and finish my Portuguese grammar notes. And my three personal are to call my friend Rebecca, to do a workout, and to tidy my room. After making my to-do list, I now have to make a to-feel list and a to-be list, which I think is quite interesting. So you have to write down what you want to feel today and what you want to be today. I want to feel productive, energized and satisfied. And then my to be, I want to be a supportive friend and a patient daughter. Now we have to read for 30 minutes. So I am currently reading Deep Work by Cal Newport. I started it yesterday. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'm gonna enjoy the next 30 minutes of reading. I Promise I am not your enemy. I just need another memory. That's all I want. I made these cookies yesterday. Like, look how good they look. They're so gooey and they taste so nice and they're so soft inside. I really want one but that is not in the morning routine so I can't. Okay I'm really hungry now. I did enjoy my reading time but I'm hungry and luckily for me now is the time where we make a morning smoothie. Apparently he mentioned adding lots of berries and avocado and something else. I don't have an avocado. I'm not going to put that in my smoothie but I am going to in banana. Uh, I want this smoothie in so long and I used to always use my smoothie maker all the time at uni so I'm glad I get to make a smoothie now and it's really good. The final stage in this morning routine is to now do some brain training so we take our smoothie with us and we do a brain training exercise. I don't have time to like look anything up online so I'm deciding to do one of my hard sudokus from this sudoku book and let's just hope it doesn't take me too long but hopefully it will give my bring a good workout so I'm gonna skip past intermediate and go straight to expert I don't know if I'm gonna regret doing this but it's gonna train my brain that's for sure so this is the Sudoku puzzle I will be doing if anyone's interested I'm gonna choose puzzle number 243 this is what it looks like the flower in the shade ever feel a little jealousy does it ever go away all I want is you to answer me right now. that actually didn't take me as long as I thought it was gonna take me so I'm quite disappointed, like I thought it was going to train my brain more, maybe I should do another one, but I feel like if I do another one, then I'll be here for ages because it will actually be a more difficult one. That concludes the billion dollar morning routine that I've done this morning. Apparently now you just start the day. So it is 10.30, so three hours after I woke up, admittedly it 
has taken a lot longer than my normal morning routine and I think also because I was obviously filming as well so setting up the camera angles and stuff took longer and I think if I did this routine every day and I knew it off by heart it could probably probably be done in an hour an hour and a half but my concluding thoughts are it was a it was quite a nice morning routine quite lengthy and I think overall it has set the tone for the day really nicely it is really nice to have done all of those things before starting my day but there are some things that I wouldn't do again and that I wouldn't implement into my own morning routine and take away from them and the main one is the cold shower I could not do a cold shower every single day I just I couldn't do it to be fair I think I feel really nice and zen and I do think part of that is because of the cold shower i think the cold shower really made a physical difference to the way that i felt in the morning i think once i got over it the effects were actually really good and really woke my body up and made me feel refreshed so although i wouldn't do it every day i just i couldn't i don't think i could i don't think i could hack it it did actually i think i felt the benefits of it what else did i really enjoy i enjoyed doing the meditation every morning i think taking time to actually do that every morning is really beneficial i also liked the reading part of it it's quite nice where you're, you have no distractions and you're fully focused on what you're reading and you take that time for yourself it was just very peaceful very calm had my cup of tea so i liked that i found it very strange not brushing my teeth as soon as i woke up after i drank water but like i just couldn't do all of those things that he does without brushing my teeth, I just feel very, very strange without brushing my teeth first. So I think waiting all the way until after you've had the cold shower to brush your teeth is quite a long time and that's not something that I like. I also liked writing down what I want to feel and what I want to be in the day. I think that's something different that is very quick and simple that you can easily implement into an existing journaling routine already. So that's quite nice, something different. I don't think I'll do it every day, but maybe once a week or whenever I feel like doing it in the mornings when I am journaling, it kind of sets you up for the day and puts you in the mindset of what you want to do, what you want to achieve, how you want to feel and what kind of person you want to be. I think it's quite a good habit to implement because it changes your mindset. Mindset. It's a mindset shift which can be quite beneficial and to be honest I do feel ready for the day. I, re I feel ready to get going with what I put on my to-do list and I do feel refreshed and I felt like I had a very calm morning but again, I don't think that I could do this every day because it did take quite a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other sort of video that you want to see like this, any other person's routine you want me to try, or any other kind of challenge video. I'm always up for one of those. Let me know if you guys try this billion dollar morning routine and let me know in the comments. Thank you again for watching and see you in my next video. Bye. Just dance with me right now. Just dance with me right now. When I wake up, you're not next to me Guess I'm missing all your energy That's all I want That's all I want Promise I am not your enemy I just need another memory